Quinn, but this is a matchup that if you make a mistake as the Quinn, or if owner just camps topside there, it's not a freebie by any means. Delight almost in position to maybe steal one of those away, but he's going to come over here and contest. They want to get at least one of these, but no cryo for Doran, and I think Hanwa is going to have to give this one up. Very yeah. awkward here. Pino was doing the Drake, so I'm not really sure what their goal was. Maybe to steal one away or at least pretend like they're going to fight over it, but I don't think in that situation they were ever actually intending on committing to a fight. And Doran just stayed in cleanse. Owner does not have six, so... I mean, he, he's just going to run into the two of them. That is still very dangerous. And there's the cleanse flash as another stun comes in, but didn't necessarily have to use that, did Doran. It should have been pretty obvious that this was what was happening, but he thought maybe he could save the pressure off and will be relatively unsuccessful in doing so. We'll lose those summoners and take the CS here, but... Viper is swapping now back to the top side. So a really nice little tempo edge that T1 are trying to grab here. Two plates go down bottom, two plates go down top. And it puts the Renekton away from the Kuz a plate down here as this Caitlyn with four grubs is really going to work. All right, well, we got a TP coming in. It's kind of an awkward angle, but with the Rakan, Delight trying to keep them around. Zeka, here he comes. This double flash available for the bottom lane. And now Peanut going to knock Faker away, but he's in an awkward spot. And I don't even think the Blast Cone helps him here. He's going to try to get over the wall, but there's the ult. And Peanut is going to taxi in onto Owner. But even Zeus is here. Now a flash over the wall and the Nimbus Cloak. Peanut is going to get out against five people. He's got that phase rush. He's running. Doran's going to get a plate for his troubles up here on the still. And back down here. More demolish. More plates going down. Guma is just making quick work of this turret. And it's an Azir who's getting pushed in. I'm even going to drop the ace in the hole here as they want to contest Dragon. Baker taking a bunch of damage, but Viper trying his best to layer that in. The double knockup comes in from Delight, and Carrier going to be sniped down by Viper again. And a massive sweep going to get both flashes out of Faker and Guma. And now Viper, he's still on the chase. As unfortunately, we do have a Chemtech soul, but it's still a nice fight here for Amalite Esports. Yeah, really nice fight for there. Some additional damage going to be that secondary AD carry you were alluding to. Peanut hidden. Hide on bush. And, uh, well, <laughs> it's, it's going to be uh, taken, but Peanut in a little bit of trouble here as he is CC basically for 8,000 years, and eventually he will die. Karia stealing the kill away. It is. You can see here, look at where the, the, the minimap and take, where the rest of his team is. He's like, I'm going to steal it. Copy. And he does. Ah, that bad, okay. Wait, I think he didn't. Wait, oh, he did he not? Oh, oh, no, he did not. Look at his smite. Okay. He, well... Okay. <laughs> Quinn is great at that. As T1 desperate for an engage here. TP. Okay, then TP going to be utilized. Peanut, we're zooming in on the set fast presence. And there goes the Braum. But owner still nearby. It comes down to smite fight. And Peanut wins it again. It's just a single Chemtech Drake. But now, the Chemtech Soul on the board. Could potentially pick that up next time. That certainly could. T1 gonna maybe try ult and just kind of hope for success. Peanut denies them again. And now it's soul point. Ooh, Doran, Doran just went out of Valor here. Uh, he's gonna be in some trouble. I, I thought he was just gonna move up and get vision, but that is not the case. Now he is 1v2, and this Renekton, given enough time with the help of Sejuani, will absolutely deal with the Quinn. So Zay is gonna pick up that kill. But now T1 prio on this dragon. Yep. And that fruit is one of the ones I like because it promotes action. There Viper's able to get right back in. And we're going to have a clean, even fight here. And let's see how it does go. As Doran on the flank. Yeah, Doran is on the flank. Peanut, he's got his Keeper's Verdict. And there it is. Owner desperately trying to dodge it. But now you just don't have Smite, so it's easy. And now they get the engage on Azeus. As do they have the CC to lock him down, though? This Renekton kind of going crazy, but not for long. As he was alone, the rest of the team did not want to follow up on that without Owner. And it's just Chemtech sold to Humble Life Esports. And they just avoid the fight entirely. He is building full AD, or rather armor, and he's so far ahead. As we got a 1v1 here, Faker going in on a door, and he wants to punish. Him. The big one is going to miss, but he's got more rockets where that came from. He's looking to build up one more. Can he get it? Uh, the Wolves are going to block a little bit here as now a Valkyrie comes in and it's not enough. But we do have the snipe from Gooma downtown to take down Doran. There you go. Good footwork. He's trying to get his way out. He knows that Gooma has ult, but 
won't be able to stop that one. So that's a big pick here. Is they're gonna go for mid turret? Oh, that's keeper's verdict. Missed this time. <laughs> Peanut finds himself in an awkward spot again, but he's basically unkillable. And the rest of the team, though, Delight might be in a bit of an issue. The Divide comes in, but Delight is going to go down. And now Zekka baited into the fight, trying to dash away. And he looks like he barely will, as one missile is going to miss. And Peanut is still on the run. And he is going to be the one that pays for it. T1 going to be looking at Baron now. Yeah, there's the Baron call right afterwards in T1. They end up punishing there super hard. Peanut missing the Keeper's Verdict is what sets it all up. And Viper trying his best to chip away at the chasing members. Zekka looking for the Emperor's Divide for Peel, but it's just too little, too late. This not going to be anywhere close to a steal in T1. They had a gold lead already, but now they're going to take even more. Matt couldn't actually contest the turret. The angle he had there would have given you a turret at least. That's really big. That's really important because T1 have that mid turret. You don't for this Elder. But I think uh -oh. Doran's dead again. He doesn't have vaults, and well, looks like Zeus is going to respect it and maybe even just give the kill over to Faker. Excellently done as Faker. Zeus, and doesn't manage to do that, but still on the chase. Zeus is being pushed all the way down and marked by the Quinn, so at least Doran is doing that, if not much else. So Delight is going to find the uh, Renekton. Ult comes in, Delight not going to get that blocked by Doran. We might just have a good old-fashioned flip unless Peanut can get the Keeper's Verdict again. Viper's going to have to hit some damage here, trying his best to put it onto Owner, but just not landing everything. Caitlyn Trap zoning them out right now. Peanut going to try to clear this up. Even Viper getting in there. But the Keeper's Verdict is really the, the key here. Peanut's got it back now. Yeah, Owner does have Flash. I would like to see him Flash this one if it does come down to it. Delight. Very nice angle. He's going to look for Faker, but he totally whiffs. That's not going to be the angle you're looking for. As now Viper going to throw that in once again. The Keeper's Verdict does get a couple, but not the two he was looking for. TP's coming in. As the Elder is getting so, so low. Might come down to the flip. Pino wants to fight him, but T1 not going to let them come in. But Owner gets so low. And Zeus is frontlining, and they get the Elder. T1 should take this down. They absolutely wipe them, and they will take down the Elder. T1 so patient this time. Yes, they get knocked away by the Keeper's Verdict, but Owner doesn't. Teleport comes through instantly from Zeus. They do not push the Elder Health too low. They do not give Peanut an opportunity for the 50-50. They put him incredibly low, and they fight it exactly as they should. Hanwha Life, no chances in this one. No error from T1. And it looks very likely this is just going to be the end of the game here. 20 seconds on Viper, 25 on Zekka. T1 going to bring us to three. That they will. A, another very close game. I don't think we're going to be seeing Quinn again, that's for sure. The way that T1 were able to handle it this time around. As the Nexus will fall and T1 tie it up, we got a series on our hands.